అందరికీ నమస్కారములండి శ్రీ గురుభ్యో నమ శ్రీ సరస్వతి అయ నమ శ్రీ మహాగణాధిపతి అయ నమ టుడే ఈజ్ ద టెన్త్ మార్చ్ ఆఫ్ టూ థౌజండ్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ త్రీ అండ్ ది సెకండ్ డే ఆఫ్ అవర్ వెబినార్స్ ఆన్ రామ రామాయణం బై డాక్టర్ ఆర్ఏ పద్మనాభరావు గారు వీ విల్ స్టార్ట్ దిస్ సెషన్ విత్ వందే మాతరం ప్రార్థన అండ్ దెన్ విల్ కంటిన్యూ వీ విల్ రిక్వెస్ట్ చల్లా చిట్టిబాబు గారు టు డిసైడ్ వందే మాతరం వందే మాతరం వందే మాతరం సుజలా సుఫల మలయజీతల సస్యమల మాతరం వందే మాతరం సుప్రజ్యోష్ణాపులకితయామిని పుల్లకుసుమితృమదళశోభి సుహాసిని సుమధురభాషిణి సుఖదాం వరదాం మాతరం వందే మాతరం వందే మాతరం వందే మాతరం ధన్యవాదములండి చిట్టిబాబు గారు నా లేటెస్ట్ రిక్వెస్ట్ సత్యాజి టు చాంట్ ప్రార్థన నమస్కారం అందరికి లెట్స్ డూ మెడిటేషన్ ఫర్ ఎ మినిట్ గణపతి గుంభవామహే కవిం కవీణాముపమశ్రవస్తమం జ్యేష్ఠరాజం బ్రహ్మణ బ్రహ్మణస్పత ఆనశృణ్వన్ నూతిభిస్సీద సాధనం ఓం శ్రీ మహాగణాధిపత నమ ఓం ప్రణోదేవి సరస్వతి వాజేభిర్వాజినీవతి ధీనామవిత్రవతు మహాసరస్వత్యై నమ గురురేవ గతి గురుమేవ భజే గురునైవ సహాస్మి నమో గురవే నగురో పరమం శశిరస్మి గురో మతిరస్తి గురౌ మమ పాహి గురో జ్ఞానందమయం దేవం నిర్మల స్ఫటికృతి ఆధారం సర్వ విద్యా హయగ్రీవముపాస్మహే శృతిస్మృతిపురాణం ఆలయం కరుణాలయం నమామి భగవత్పాద శంకరం లోకశంకరం శంకరం శంకరాచార్యం కేశవం పాదరాయణం సూత్రభాష్యకృతో వందే 
भगवंत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मेति मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्त देहाय दक्षिणा मूर्त नम असतो मा सदमय तमसो मा ज्योतिर्गमय मृत्योर्मा अमृत गमय ओ शाति 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 मातृदेव भव पितृदेव भव आचार्य देव भव अतिथिदेव भव ओ सहनावतु सहनौभुनक्तु सह वीर करवाहई तेजस्वीनावधी तमस्त मा विषा वह ओ शाति 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 श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओ धन्यवाद सत्यगार नाउ यू नो वी विल हैव एग्जाम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन एट ओ क्लॉक सो वट एवर क्वेश्चन यू हैव यू फिनिश बिफोर एट ओ क्लॉक नाउ ऐ रिक्वेस्ट पद्मनाभ राव गुजार्ट हिस् वेबिनार प्लीज शुभोदय टू ऑल दि व्यूअर्स कौसल्या सुप्रजा राम पूर्वासंध्या प्रवर्तते उत्तिष्ठ नरशाधूल कर्तव्य दैवमिक वैदेयी सहित सुरद्रुमतले हई मे महामंडपे मध्ये पुष्पकमासने मणिमये वीरासने संस्थित अग्रे वाचयति प्रभंजन सुते तत्व मुनिभ्य परम व्याख्या परतावृत राम भजे श्यामल यत्र यत्र रघुनाथ कीर्तन त्र त्र कृतमस्तकंजलि बाष्पिपूर्णलोचन मारुति नमत राक्षसातक good morning to all the viewers and learned scholars yesterday we were discussing about the various aspects of ramayana and some of our colleagues were asking about the book which i have written this is the book antaranga tarangam and the subtitle is sita ayanam because they were mentioning about why only rama is being credited for everything and not uh, sita so my interpretation in that also was uh, about the women characters in that book i have taken about 16 characters just now when uh, bhav chitra babu garu was uh, reciting vande mataram i was reminded of the latest term uh, this is not uh, nowadays vande mataram it is sunday mataram all the people are more interested on sunday because all the software engineers they want to enjoy the life you know which uh, for one i was telling yesterday uh, kallal babu garu was telling that our uh, registered number was 120 and mostly about uh, 50 to 60 people will be attending the course uh, on a regular basis according to their convenience then i was about to tell him sir i was uh, i was working in holiday radio for 30 years so we doesn't need any audience before us we sit in the studio single handedly and we think that uh, lakhs of people are listening similarly i also feel in this group all the other members are also listen, <laughs> listening to my speech anyhow the shloka which i have mentioned about why they he sent them is about the patabhishekha of rama normally when gandhi ji told rama rajya what is rama rajya to illustrate rama rajya there is an incident which has happened during the time of rama the popular usage of uh, rama rajya is very interesting an incident to show the magnanimity of rama is to be noted here he ruled for a long time the ayodhya kingdom he was conducting raja darbar 
ఇప్పుడు మన వాళ్ళు ప్రజా దర్బార్ అంటున్నారు ఈ ముఖ్యమంత్రులు వాళ్ళందరూ అట్ ఫ్రీక్వెంట్ ఇంటర్వెల్స్ ది అదర్ త్రీ బ్రదర్స్ అసిస్టెంట్ హిమ్ ఇన్ ది అడ్మినిస్ట్రేషన్ ఎవ్రీ డే ఆఫ్టర్ కంప్లీటింగ్ ది రెగ్యులర్ కోర్ట్ ప్రొసీడింగ్స్ విత్ ద మినిస్టర్స్ అండ్ అడ్వైజర్స్ రామా క్రియేట్ చేసే సిస్టమ్ టు హియర్ ది గ్రీవెన్సెస్ ఆఫ్ ది పబ్లిక్ దట్ ఈస్ నోన్ ఎస్ ప్రజా దర్బార్ వీ కెన్ కాల్ occasionally people gave representations on that particular day he instructed lakshmana to go out of the court hall and find out whether somebody is there to ventilate his grievance lakshmana came back saying that none no one is standing there with any grievance because this is rama rajya but he said a dog was standing with a human voice the complaint of the dog was a sadhu has beaten her unnecessarily the dog in human voice said rama i want justice since it is inauspicious i can't come inside the court hall so the normally we feel that if a dog comes into the house it is not auspicious so the dog submitted king rama came out and inquired the dog about the her grievance her complaint was against the sadhu the sadhu was produced before the king the king wanted his explanation with folded hands the sadhu narrated his story hey maharaja rama i was going around the streets of ayodhya for alms pronouncing biksham dehi biksham dehi no one came forward i went to another street i lost control there also i could get my uh, feed while i was returning this dog was at the crossroads and was barking at me i lost control and beat him with a stick now you are free to give me any punishment this was the these are the words of sadhu the sadhu told politely severe punishment was expected finally the judgment of rama to appoint him as a trustee of a temple this is very interesting he said you make him a trustee of a temple why as a trustee he will be misappropriating the accounts of the temple and get a lot of sin in the next birth he will be born very badly this incident throws light that during rama rajyam also it was not only the welfare of the human beings but for the animals also it was a rama rajya similarly those days the intelligence system was also prevalent rama abandoned sita listening to the information about a common man talking about the sita's behavior at lanka rama knows that she is perfect but he took the decision of abandoning her there is a lot of discussion about this act of rama yesterday also some of our members pointed out why it has happened and regarding the behavior of kaikey also there are so many arguments it was not her behavior it was done by the divine opportunity and we will just see how the characterization of kaikey was done in ramayana well janaki was described as a devarahasya in valmiki he has specifically mentioned about janaki as devarahasya but kaikey was described as a manava rahasya kaikey is the daughter of ashwapati she has excellent beauty besides the terrific courage and she has all the desires evil desires suddenly she changed her attitude towards rama otherwise rama was born to kausalya but brought up by kaikey the story itself tells and even in vishwanatha ramayana also he narrated in a very very exclusive manner about the intimacy of rama with kaikey and there is an argument that she should not be held responsible and it was the desire of gods to send rama to the forest when dashatha was distributing paisa he went to kaikey after completing the distribution with kausalya and sumitra intentionally dashatha did not give her the jew we know the how it has happened he wanted the son of kausalya only only to rule the kingdom he knows 
that Sumitra will never come in the way of Kausalya. Everybody in the kingdom hailed and hated Kaikeyi. In fact, she was not a cruel person. She was an affectionate mother. Rama at a tender age was always in the palace of Kaikeyi. He learned archery from her, Dhanur Vijay. It was a joint family. All the three mothers were moving closely, but the fate turned against Rama. Bharata was born next to Rama, as yesterday I was mentioning. Immediately after Rama's birth, uh, Bharata was born. And he was eligible to rule the kingdom next to Rama. Mandara was responsible for the turn of tables. Kaikeyi had full affection towards Rama. She did not burn virgin inch when Mandara told her about this. But Mandara prevailed upon her and finally she was able to succeed. Here, the poet described the intelligence of Mandara through Kaikeyi in 30 shlokas. This is a very interesting thing which we have to know because uh, Mandara was a small character, but even then, Valmiki took the advantage of uh, mentioning her character through the mouth of Kaikeyi. Unintentionally, the king first wanted to inform the news about the coronation of Rama to Kaikeyi. We know the later story. When Kaikeyi did not rescind, Dasharada touched her feet and begged her. She was harsh in her words. She mentioned, Dharma Shaiva Bika Mardham Mama Shaiva Bichodana Ramraja Yasutam Ramum Trikalutvam Brabim Yaha. I am telling this with firmness. What did she say? Dasharada, these are the things which you have to do. Then Dasharada replied, Okay, if you really want to honor justice, listen to me. And Kaikeyi says, you send Rama to exile. I'm telling with firmness, she says. She said, I'm ready to commit suicide also. This is the normally last threat by any woman when she is not happy with her husband. She ordered Sumantara to bring Rama. Sumantara wanted the overall orders of the king. The king obliged. She just nodded. He just nodded. When Rama appeared before her, her face was uh, colorless, whereas the king was in despair. Finally, Rama was prepared to leave for the forest. She is the symbol of a person born to high family and became a slave to her desire. This we have to uh, note down. She has become a slave to her desire. That is the reason the poet uh, Valmiki describes her as a kirti. In Bhagavad Gita also, Lord Krishna describes that he stands with the kirti of woman, siri and speech. These are the three things which uh, Bhagavad Gita mentions. Kirti, siri and speech where the Lord rests. The poet describes three queens as symbols of three virtues. Finally, it can be concluded that every human being in his life acts like Dasharadha through his Dasha Indriyas. This is to be noted down. Dasharadha is none other than Dasha Indriyas are respect. We have Dasha Indriyas and all these things, Pancha Indriyas and Pancha Indriyas. When we think of uh, the bane of uh, Dasharadha by a uh, sage, he thought it is a boon to him because the vein was, he will be dying with Putra Shoka. But immediately Dasharada thought it is a boon for him because he never had a son and this will be a boon for him. The story goes on like that. Then in the smaller characters also, uh, because I am just going from one to the other, because everybody knows this story, but the analyzation I just wanted to know and inform the audiences also who are very learned scholars. The character of Sabari is a small character. It appears for just for uh, 100 slokas or 200 slokas, but it is a very peculiar character. She is like a flower in the forest. She is born and brought up in the forest. We have no idea about her parentage. 
there is no mention about her father or mother or who she claims she belongs why she did not marry we do not know at what age she entered matanga ashrama no mention it is purva janma vasana and prerana that she entered the matanga ashram she waited for long for a long year long years she did not end up her life till ramo arrives the auspicious day has come she waited at the entrance gate of the hermitage she observed the happiness with the animals some uh, flavor was also coming she waited at the entrance gate she could listen to the vibrations of rama shabda in nature she lifted her head because she is a old woman she recognized the arrival of the charming personality at a distance slowly it moved towards her she was completely unaware of herself something unusual she observed that is none other than lord rama along with his brother lakshmana she received them with love and affection rama cleared the tears of shabari with his own hands with his touch she was completely mesmerized normally we when we can see bapu's ramayana the incident of uh, shabari was uh, uh, described and pictureized in such a way that we also get tears she presented a fruit to rama rama received it with great happiness later the incorporations of the word that she has given her the eaten uh, fruit is not that much correct according to valmiki she has selected the best fruits and then only she has given the fruits to rama not the one which she has uh, touched and given he mentioned about several things to him rama received all the information from her he made several inquiries about the ashram he mentioned about kabanda who suggested to him about her kabanda told that shabari is there you go and uh, meet her then shabari politely said oh rama i am waiting for you to end my life she left her body and the soul was glowing it reminds us of the secret that one need not be born in a prestigious family why i compared uh, kaikeyi and then immediately t- turned over to shabari is you need not be born in a royal family even if you are from a smaller family you can get the salvation that is the speciality of shabari similarly the episode of goha also is very very interesting he was the first person whom rama meets while going for the exile then there are two parallel characters in ramayana one is vishwamitra and another is vasishta <coughs> there are two contrast characters both paved the way for rama to perform his duties of incarnation vasishta is mitabhashi valmiki describes in three words mitabhashi satya vachana shanta swabhav those who are taking notes they can please note down mitabhashi satya vachana shanta swabhav ella prakat var rashkutma the quarrel with vishwamitra started when he did not accept vishwamitra as maharshi normally the ego starts when we treat the person against us as a very lower person then the quarrel starts similar thing happened when vasishta said we are only a maharshi not brahma maharshi though vishwamitra killed all the sons of vasishta he did not get anger he is a traditional guru of ikshvakus he is one among the ministers also those days the guru is given the uh, post of uh, ministers also in advice while making mention of the name of vasishta first well uh, narrating the, the uh, episodes of different people he says vasishta vamadevascha mantirinascha tadha pare those are the ministers in the kingdom of dasharatha every emperor of ragovisha visited the guru's place 
according to their convenience. To go back, Dilipa served the Guru along with the Nandini Denu and got the son Raghu. That is the why it has become Raghuvamsha. The Guru gave the advice to Dasaratha to perform Ashwamedha and Putrakamishti. This is on the advice of Vasistha. These two things have happened. He conducted both of them under the guidance of the Guru Vasistha. The Guru was always in meditation. He was a role model for Rama to talk less. That is why when we think of Rama, there are three words which are characterized sticks of the Rama. Mitabhashi, Smitabhashi, Purvabhashi. Some people, when we telephone, before we say hello, good morning, they themselves will say, he may be a very big person, but he himself says very good morning. That is the way Rama also reacts to people. Mitabhashi, Smitabhashi, Purvabhashi. He talks first. How are you? Normally, we go and salute uh, any higher person. If he talks, it is a great thing. That is why the Vasista was the Vasista was the person who has sowed the seeds of incarnation in Rama, and Vishwamitra got the credit as uh, Sri Rama's guru because he has uh, got the performance of the Kalyana. Then the importance of Raghuvamsha clan never acted against the wishes of the Guru. It is because of his Tyaga Bhava that is more important. Tyagena ikena amurtatva mana shahu. Tyagena ikena amurtatva mana shahu. At the time of the incarnation also, Sri Rama, there were only two prominent persons when the coronation took place, Patavsheka. One is Vasistha and the another is Sumantra. The Guru did not feel bad when Rama moved to the forest. This is the importance and characteristics of Valmiki and Vasistha. He knew Vasistha. He knew that it is for the benefit of the world, Loka Kalyana, that Rama should go on exile. Tears rolled from the eyes of Vasistha when he saw Sita in Valkala. He got angry with Kaikeyi and admonished her, saying that Sita will not go to the forest. She will rule Ayodhya. This is here, the feminism comes. Even if Rama is uh, given the exile, uh, Sita is eligible to rule the kingdom. That is the word of Vasistha. He says she is eligible for the uh, coronation of Ayodhya Pattabhisheka. Finally, Vasistha controlled his anger and ordered that Sita will wear all the ornaments of a princess as usual. This is why when the Kishkinda Kandaga comes and she has dropped her ornaments, because she was wearing the ornaments and the royal... Uh, when Rama got angry with the argument of Charvaka, Guru Vasistha controlled his anger. From the period of the Dasharadha's death, to the coronation of uh, Rama, the governance of Ayodhya was according to the orders of Vasistha. This is the importance of Guru. <coughs> he is the person who told Janaka Maharshi about the importance of uh, Kartika Masa also. Because Janaka also was a Rajarishi. He was a very devotional person and spiritual person. Then in comparison, Vishwamitra is the person responsible to inform the world about the greatness of uh, Lord Rama. The quarrel between Vasistha and Vishwamitra is a well-known story. He was responsible for the creation of uh, Trishanku Swarga. This is also another uh, important thing. When Trishanku Swarga is mentioned, I was reminded of uh, a poem by Tirupati Venkata Kaulu. Tirupati Venkata Kaulu Ashtavadhanan Chastav Napudu, somebody told them to say a poem on a cycle. Cycle ni polus tu oka pajjan jappa mannar. Adi telugu lo chappa alka apati telugu lo chappa anu. Venkata Kaulu oka pajjan jappa anu. Tirupati Kaulu ni adikin devati ente cycle bheed pajjan jappa mannar. Iti maangul ka yavar ena jepte dhanke bell unntu du break unntai nundu chakra al unntai jepte ar. Vila atta chappa lai. Nerungo radu, gaddi edu gadu. 
గుర్రంతో పోలుస్తున్నారు నీరుంగోరదు గడ్డి అడ్గదు ఒక కొమ్మే ఉల్వలన్ వేడదు ఏ వారేనిక్కిన క్రింద దోయదు ఒకడు పద్జన్ భటుండుంట వలదు ఔరా వాజికి సాటి అయిన ఇది విశ్వామిత్ర సృష్టంబకో విశ్వామిత్రుడు సృష్టించే అట్ట ఈ సైకిల్ ని మామూలుగా గుర్రానికి పోలిక ఏదో ఒకటి ఉండాలి కదా త్రిశంకు స్వర్గంలో అని చమత్కారంగా వాళ్ళు చెప్పారు సో విశ్వామిత్ర ఈస్ అట్ గ్రేట్ పర్సన్ అండ్ హీ బికేమ్ ఎ బ్రహ్మర్షి ఆల్సో విశ్వామిత్ర హీ గాట్ ఎ డాటర్ శకుంతల త్రూ మేనకా హీ డిడ్ పెనెన్స్ ఫర్ థౌజండ్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇయర్స్ ఫైనలీ హీ గాట్ ది టైటిల్ బ్రహ్మర్షి వశిష్ట డిడ్ నాట్ యాక్సెప్ట్ ఇట్ అండ్ అడర్స్ హిమ్ యాజ్ రాజర్షి ఈవెన్ దెమ్ బట్ ఫైనల్లీ he accepted him as brahmarshi when he did not give bane to shakti the son of vasistha here it is said vishwamitram mahaatmanam trishirsha vivapannagau anujagmat rukshudrau pitamah iva ashvinau how is uh, vishwamitra narete ramalakshmana following vishwamitra are like ashwini devatas following lord brahman then the person vishwamitra is he becomes a brahman ashwini is our rama lakshmanas so sita also followed them to the forest and ashwini is live together similarly rama and lakshmana since rama lakshmanas are compared with ashwini ashwini is are inseparable this uh, vishwamitra gave all the astras to rama lakshmana when he narrated this he is the srashta and drashta of gayatri mantra also vishwamitra is the person who has created this gayatri mantra which we do in sanjya vandanam so his motive is to project rama as a personality of incarnation rama called on several sages personally whereas vishwamitra himself went to rama this is the another think comparison which you have to go he went to bharadwaja ashram he went to agastya ashram he went to valmika ashram in during his exile time but in the case of vishwamitra he himself came forward to take the help of ramachandra and this shloka kausalya supraja rama is very famous that is why this annan who has created this vegadeshwara uh, suprabhatam he wanted to take this as is the first stanza of that suprabhatam kausalya supraja rama why he has mentioned he should have mentioned dashartha dasardhi you wake up but he mentioned kausalya because he remain he wants to remain his uh, incarnation through the womb of kausalya so and he is the best son supraja purva sanjha pravartate uttishtha narasharadula kartavyam daivavanikam you do all your uh, ablations he reminded rama to perform his rightful duties of destroying ram demons that is the kartavyam he bestowed several divya astras what are the divya astras dharma chakra danda chakra kala chakra vishnu chakra and indra chakra aindra chakra i will repeat dharma chakra దండ చక్ర కాల చక్ర విష్ణు చక్ర అండ్ ఐంద్ర చక్ర దెన్ ఫైనల్లీ హీ లెఫ్ట్ ఫర్ సిద్ధాశ్రమ్ కంప్లీటింగ్ హిస్ డ్యూటీ యాజ్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ హిస్ డ్యూటీ టు పెర్ఫార్మ్ ది మ్యారేజ్ ఆఫ్ రామ ఆఫ్టర్ ది పెర్ఫార్మెన్స్ ఆఫ్ సీతారామ కళ్యాణ హీ లెఫ్ట్ హిస్ ఓన్ ఆశ్రమ్ హీ కంటిన్యూడ్ హిస్ పెనెన్స్ there is no mention of vishwamitra after balakanda whereas about the vasistha's presence throughout the story it is there at the time of shivadanur bhanga vishwamitra told rama as if it is his duty he says vishwamitra sa dharmatma shrutva janaka bhashitam vatsa rama dhanu pasya iti raghavam bhravi these are the words attacked by vishwamitra when uh, janaka told about the marriage and the uh, vow he has taken vishwamitra sadharmatma shrutva janaka bhashitam whatever has janaka has told 
immediately Vishwamitra said the word Dhanupasya. You see the bow. That is the only thing. He didn't say you break it or whatever it is. Vatsa Rama Dhanupasya Iti Raghava Mabhravi. Here, Vatsa has inner meaning. The Amarakosha mentions Uro Vatsascha Vakshascha. So, here it is, my dear, you are the incarnation. Don't forget about your incarnation. Rama means, Rama means Lakshmi and Rama means Ramachandra. Person wearing Lakshmi on his uh, Vakshastala is Ramachandra or Vishnu. Dhanupasya, he did not say many words. And when Rama wanted the acceptance of uh, Ushwamitra, it is said in some other uh, Kambarama and others, he just nodded his knot. Uh, you go ahead and anatta. That is the word he said. Then when we compare the woman characters of uh, Ramayana, particularly Kaikeyi and Kausalya, who are the main important characters, it is observed Kaikeyi abandoned the royal patronage and argued for the course which she thought was perfectly genuine. She was uh, asking Dasaratha to complete his uh, boons which he has given during the war. Kausalya bent her head for the fate silently and prepared for the suffering she had to face. This is the difference between Kausalya and Kaikeyi. Though Kausalya was the elderly queen, she never showed her authority. She never expected special attention from the king. She was always on the side curtains, side walls, we say, and waited till her part of Paisa was distributed. The three queens of Dasharatha were compared by Valmiki in the first instance. This we can note down. Dashar, the Kausalya, Kaikeyi, and Sumitra are like Hiri, Hiri, Shri, and Kirti. Hiri, Shri, and Kirti. Here, Hiri is Kausalya. Shri is Sumitra. Kirti is Kaikeyi. What is Hiri? Hiri is obedience. So always Kausalya is an obedient one. Kausalya cannot express her words outwardly. In each and every moment, the human aspect is underlined in Kausalya. The divinity in her character is to be observed and discussed. In the entire story, Kausalya did not speak more. She never uttered a word when Dasharada contemplated Yajna. During the distribution of Payasa also, she does not have a say. When it was decided to send Rama along with Vishamitra, she never spoke against it. Like in a silent movie, she was a silent observer for all the happenings before her eyes. She didn't say, oh, this is my intention, or I want to do like this, and I want it to be done like this. The very first occasion when Kausalya spoke was, <clears throat> the crowning ceremony celebrations are on foot. The well-wishers of Kausalya and Rama hurried up to inform the decision to her. She distributed jewels and precious gifts to all the people who informed her with great enthusiasm. But she never uttered a word. When Rama personally informed her of the decision of the king, tears rolled down on her eyes. She simply said, Vatsa Rama Chiranjiva. These are the three words she has uttered. Vatsa, Rama, Chiranjiva. This is more important because you have to live first. She expected that Rama should always be with her. As a devoted lady and with limited desires, she did not speak more. She never uttered a word against her opponents. Rama explained to Lakshmana that he was accepting the burden of the kingdom only for the sake of the people around him. Rama told Kausalya in unequivocal terms about the differences between Uttama, Madhyama, and Adhama. 
these are the three characters normally we have uttama madhyama and adhama he added that a person who does not wait to implement the orders of his father is uttama this is the line which you have to underline the person who does not wait to implement the orders of his father is uttama so rama also is that he did not uh, get the orders directly from dasharatha but he implemented it the person who follows his father in words is madhyama a person even after the decision of his father does not act is adhama i will repeat again ma uttama madhyama and adhama a person who implements the orders of his father without waiting for it is uttama the person who implements it is madhyama and the person even after the decision doesn't act is adhama these are the three characters so rama followed the orders of his father in letter and spirit rama will never go back on his words at this point of time kausalya poses two questions let dasharatha decide to coronate bharata if he pleases this is the intention of kausalya she says let dasharatha make bharata the ruler of the ayodhya why should rama go to forest this is the first question she asks dasharatha can surrender his kingdom to bharata but why should rama suffer sita sumitra lakshmana were present with kausalya when rama entered the scene this was the irony valmiki in his own way, own way presented the scene with utmost clarity on one side janaki and kausalya and on the other side rama and lakshmana om hri shri these are the bijaksharas on one side and their children on the other side a beautiful situation to observe at this point of time valmiki describes kausalya tatratam pravanam eva mataram kshemavasini vagyatam devatadare dadarsya yachayate shriyam kausalya prayed goddess lakshmi to bestow her blessings on sri rama her concentration was fully on meditation she looked at sita and sumitra with half closed eyes artha nimilita netra at this juncture rama appeared before the mother this is a beautiful description by the poet though there was no direct order from the king rama obeyed the order even for argument say he did not plead for the orders of the king this is the personification of lord rama he accepted the words of his mother rama touched the feet of his father with the devotion but the king was not in consciousness in the house of kaikey he touched the feet of kaikey and took leave he went to his mother kausalya to inform about the change of sequences the innocent mother spent throughout the night praying gods and was expecting the prestige of her son to improve when rama approached her she immensely praised him she praised the king also then rama politely said ma i don't have time to spend with you as per the directions of my father i am living for dandakaranya for 14 years the trees will be waiting for me there she fell on the ground immediately she should not have been punished if she was issueless this was the word kausalya uttered kausalya kept rama in a dilemma the king is not in his consciousness and kaikey orders rama to go to the forest why should you go for forest when kaikey says sri rama explained her that he will be leaving ayodhya on the same day but the situation has changed and his mother is not accepting kausalya in a way she is also correct rama has to decide the correct path now the intelligent kausalya can easily assess the mind of rama she doesn't want to come in the way of righteousness as a lady who believes in truth and justice she can't say no to the decision of rama 
this happened like water fallen and fire the longitude of life also is very little she says and ram also has accept, accepted even then the human beings like comforts they want uh, every comfort these are the happenings here at this uh, juncture the characterization of uh, different personalities of valmiki or uh, in a very fine and poetical way um, i have to small uh, introduction in at this point of time i'll say in chitrakuta it seems uh, when uh, sita rama were uh, in a joyful mood it seems rama i will first narrate in telugu and then go to english it will be better ramudu sasasala balaadutu sita to annata emma mee midila nagaramlo pillalu kalagali ante peddaga sharma padakkarledata bhoomilo dorugutarante pillalu ani annata ఆమె సీతమ్మ వారు కూడా చాలా దైవైన ఆమె కదా ఆమె అన్నది ఆమె మౌన స్వామి మా దాంట్లో కొంచెం కష్టపడాలి భూమి చదువు చేసుకోవాలి దున్నాలి కష్టపడాలి నీరు పెట్టాలి అప్పుడు పిల్లలు దొరుకుతారు కానీ మీ అయోధ్య నగరంలో నేను విన్నాను పాయసం తాగితేనే నలుగురు వేసి పిల్లలు కుడుతున్నారు స్వామి ఇదేంటి విచిత్రం అని అన్నది ఇట్ సీమ్స్ సీత అండ్ రామ వర్ ఇన్ ఎ జాయ్ఫుల్ మూవ్ అండ్ రామ ఇన్ జో జో ఇన్ ఎ జాయ్ఫుల్ మూవ్ said in the midila nagara the girls are born without any effort and immediately sita retorted saying that uh, yes swami even in ayodhya also without any effort even if you take paisa four children are born at the same time anyhow the exit of uh, rama to the exile is uh, finally kausalya came to the conclusion that rama will not budge an inch against the dharma and truth this is the thing which we have to remember so she requested rama to take her also this is another turning point she says i will also follow you i do not want to stay in ayodhya now rama is in a fix he never disagreed with his parents he know he knows that he is committing a mistake by not abiding by the words of his mother with the tears in his eyes <coughs> rama requested his mother to help him in fulfilling the desire of his father he with a careful eyes rama folded hands asked kausalya now kausalya is in a dilemma she knows that the time will heal the wounds and fate is against her she blesses him to continue with this trip and come back safely gachata ata kadha sukham after controlling her emotions she blessed him whole heartedly and she says in view of my old age i thought of having proximity with you and finally failed in my attempt she said the auspicious moments that helped lord indra while fighting with the demon utrasura the same will help you in your journey these are the words of kausalya she mentioned the story of indra during the time of utrasura uh, samahara the blessings of his mother indra's mother aditi was helpful to him similarly you will also be there if we analyze the character of kausalya it is a speciality she never shared her grief with others she explained it to her own son she never uttered a word against dashartha or kaikeyi normally people are in the habit of admonishing others she never argued with them she discussed the intention with her son only when she knew that rama would not relent upon the decision she did not insist when all the queens bid farewell to rama she also accompanied them silently dashartha is ready to accompany rama to the forest but rama dissuades him to stay back and give company to kausalya similarly rama requested his mother to help the old king he said 14 years will easily pass like in a sleep this is the uh, personality of ramachandra 14 years will pass easily like in a sleep these words moved the heart of kausalya she wept like a child and was staring at rama sita and lakshmana sita persuaded rama to allow her to accompany to the forest she said i will never create any hindrance to your journey i will be of much help to you in case you leave me alone i will commit suicide 
at this point of time when the rama and the sita lakshmana they were moving for the forest unwilling to see the face of kaikeyi entered the palace of kausalya she opened her heart in the presence of the king and requested him to think of the burden of rama in the forest she condemned the act of kaikeyi dasharatha was unable to reply these are the incidents which have happened at the time of the exile of rama when rama returned back to ayodhya and was crowned kausalya's joy knew no bounds the poet describes her face as a vivarna vivarna means without any color she is epitome of harinkara the scholars have discussed the stand taken by sri rama whether he was right in denying the request of his beloved mother her contention was that he should obey the orders of mother also rama did not accede to this request he is destined to go to the forest though it was not a direct order by the king then when we go to the characterization of sumitra the character of sumitra among the three queens of dashara is of a special nature she is a cultured lady and a royal family she is soft spoken and less spoken there is no evidence to show that the king has spoken to her intimately she also did not talk to him even then she had the privilege of her husband's affection this is evident from the point of distribution of paisa among the three she has offered she has been offered twice this is a very peculiar situation the king did not favor kausalya twice instead obliged her twice to sumitra the poet describes it as the generosity of the king with the word mahamati sumitra is described with the word mahamati why did it happen in normal circumstances sumitra accepted quietly whatever has been offered to her she never felt that it would lead to so many problems of happiness kausalya protested against rama going to the forest but when lakshmana decided to accompany his brother sumitra did not utter a word nor dissuaded him there is no need for him to go to the forest lakshmana decided on his own and sumitra never felt bad instead she appreciated the stand taken by lakshmana with devotion she even complimented him for taking the decision and that is why she mentioned ramam dasharatham vidhi maam vidhi janakatmaja ayodhyam atavim vidhi gachata tayada sukham this are the words uttered by sumitra when lakshmana was about to proceed to the forest my dear son you treat rama as your father dasharatha sita equals me here the words are maam vidhi maam means lakshmi devi you treat sita devi as lakshmi devi maam means not myself maam means lakshmi devi maam vidhi janakatmaja know that forest as ayodhya and move comfortably here the word dasharatha doesn't mean king of ayodhya it is a symbolic of 10 gnana indriyas traveling by 10 wheeler chariot he should bear the difficulties of the forest that is the word the sharatha means you are going with the dajendriyas she meant that in the company of sri rama lakshmana shall feel happy then similarly she also did not put any hurdle to the son when he said he will accompany rama both of them have a common understanding through their inner heart they were able to converse with each other and the son of a divine mother he knows that he will be able to get the nod of his mother so lakshmana approached her at the time of leaving for the forest not only regarding his mother but regarding rama also lakshmana believes that they will agree to his suggestions because why rama has accepted the accompanying ment of uh, lakshmana because both of them are uh, uh, head and soul when compared with other queens of the palace sumitra is a very very soft spoken and less spoken in the entire epic she spoke only two times in the first instance 
she behaved like a magnanimous lady like kausalya she did not pray to god for the welfare of her son instead within four to five shlokas she was able to convey her message she knows that the gods along with rama will definitely help lakshmana also tears rolled her cheeks when she was bidding farewell to lakshmana she hugged him and adjusted the hair on the forehead mungurul on one side she was feeling proud and she was showing pity she could not move ahead her voice was stuck up even then she narrated her message in a very very dignified manner these are the things which we have to remember then uh, at the final uh, stage i will mention about the qualities of rama he has uh, been mentioned as smita bhashi mita bhashi and puro bhashi and the main characters of rama have been uh, by the personalities like uh, srinivas ayyengar and all other people they have mentioned his uh, qualities in a very subtle manner he has uh, his obedience satpurusha kartagnya pitruhakti sodara prema for the example of sodara prema a shloka is to be mentioned when uh, lakshmana uh, fell with the indrajit uh, arrows he mentions uh, we can get a wife and relatives at any place but you can't get a brother this is the word and this shloka goes like this deshe deshe kalatrani deshe deshe cha bandhava tam tu desham na pasyami yatra bhrata sahodara you can get wife you can get so many relatives but a brother like lakshmana for anyone is very very difficult and his affection to mitra friends mitra preeti we can quote several examples uh, with the uh, example of jatayu sugriva vibhishana sumantra all these are friends of uh, rama he helped them in a very big way then is a dharmanishtha that is also important dharmo rakshiti rakshitah these are the words which he has uttered and audaryam rama mentions that even if ravana surrenders before him he will pardon him when rama ravana lost all his armors in the fight rama left him to go back and come he ordered vibhishana to perform the funeral rites of ravana also this is shows the audarya of ramachandra amrutam nokta purvam me na cha vakshe kada achana etatte pratijanami satye naiva shakim yaham satcha is more important he says that is why he is known as satcha nishtha garishtha valar dhiratva pragnyata knowledge ashrita va ashrita vatsalya this is also an important uh, character of, of ramachandra and ekapatni vrakam then buddhi vaibhava and maharaja lakshanas all these are the characteristics of sri ramachandra and parakramavan and finally at the beginning as i told ramarajya these are the important things which have been mentioned by valmiki and several other protagonists who have developed the story in a way bigger way and uh, we were able to discuss all these points with the learned scholars all of you know the story and all of you know the characteristics also but in my humble way i have presented it to you so that the early morning we have a sense of uh, ramayana and valmiki's presence in our presence i request babu garu to have the dialogue um dhanyavadamlandi చాలా చక్కగా వివరించారు వెరీ ఇన్ఫర్మేటివ్ నౌ వీ విల్ గో విత్ ద క్వశ్చన్స్ దట్ ఆర్ ఇన్ ద చాట్ బాక్స్ చల్లా చిట్బాబు గారు అరిదే ఫస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ ఇస్ దట్ 
Mata Sita performed Pinda Pradana to Dasaradha without waiting for Rama at the time, uh, as the time is up. If it is correct, uh, first of all, is it correct? Uh, second is, is it proper for ladies to perform Pinda Pradana? Yeah, this was uh, discussed in several fora also. Uh, what has happened really after the mention of Bharata that Dasarga has expired, all the three, Sita, Rama and Lakshmana, Sita in the forefront and followed by Rama and Lakshmana, she did not give any Prinda Pradana or whatever it is there, but she was also there. Like in our uh, houses also, if a person performs the Prinda Pradana or Tadhinam, which we call, the wife also is there. She, is also, she was also present. She didn't give any Pinda Pradana at Gaya and uh, she didn't go ahead before Rama or whatever it is. These are the interpolations uh, at different places and uh, by different personalities to uh, cope up with the uh, different characterizations. I don't think uh, that it is a correct version. Okay. Sir, can, uh, sir, can you please elaborate difference between Rajarshi and Brahmarshi. Also, are there any other classifications of Rishis? Yeah. Um, the first he becomes a Maharshi by performing uh, the penance. And then, since Vishwamitra was a Raja, like Janaka Maharshi, Janaka Maharshi also is a Rajarshi because he was a king along with the Maharshi title. Whereas, this Vishwamitra wanted to be known as Brahmarshi along with Vasista. In fact, that was the title <coughs> which he wanted to get. Like our uh, Padmasri, Padma Bhushan, and Bharata Ratna, those days it was a clarification or classification. Uh, Brahmarshi was the highest title like uh, our Bharata Ratna. So this gentleman Vishwamitra, he did penance for uh, several years. And finally, he was involved with Menaka. He begot the child Shakuntala, and then uh, she has left. And this story goes like that. But when uh, Vasistha did not recognize him as uh, Brahmarshi, he went again for the uh, penance and he did for a lot of years. And then the question of Trishanku came. Trishanku, for the sake of Trishanku, he has to bestow the fruits of penance for the Trishanku Swarga also. It was a very difficult situation for uh, Vishwamitra in his life. He has several setbacks. Though he was a personal of a very great importance and uh, very great knowledge, his uh, Brahmaharshi title came at a very elderly age and Vasista also has agreed. So these are the two titles with the difference of Maharshi, Brahmaharshi, Rajarshi and Brahmaharshi. There is no other higher title than that. Sir, I humbly submit that the story of the dog and Rama's punishment to Sadhu may not be appropriate. There is a presumption <laughs> that trustees of temple uh, misappropriated funds and that too in Ramarajya. If the sto story was really mentioned, uh, then there must have been a different interpretation. That's what it's really. <laughs> <laughs> it was just, um, for the sake of a story, telling it has been created. But Ramaraja, nobody was a trustee. All of them were Dharmakartas. Even Rama himself has uh, believed himself as a Dharmakarta of the Rajya. And um, this modern trend of Dharmakartas uh, uh, handling money with uh, their own uh, intentions. <laughs> It's different, so it has just been created. I think now it is more appropriate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and people people spend money to become dharmakartas. Okay. The other question is, what was the story of Trishanku Shorga? Yeah, uh, Trishanku was a king, and uh, he has been given the to be a chandala, and he, he wanted to go directly to the heaven. He was not allowed by Indra. Then he came back to Vishwamitra and finally Vishwamitra said, I am allowing you to go to Indra Loka. Then Indra also did not agree. He has been thrown out, thrown down 
Then at this point of time, with his uh, fruits of pranans, he created a swarga. It is in between uh, Bhuloka and Swargaloka or Indraloka. And it is a Trishanku swarga where all the benefits of swarga are there. All the fruits of swarga are there. And it is almost like a Swargaloka. That is known as Trishanku swarga. Trishanku is a king who has been uh, given the bane of becoming a Chandala. And he was not allowed to go to the Swargaloka. He wanted to go to Swargaloka directly. So this is a, an incarnation of Trishanku Swarga for the sake of only Trishanku created by Vishwamitra. Yeah. Okay. Please clarify significance of meaning character uh, or meaning uh, characterization of Urmula sleeping for 14 years. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is a very peculiar character. I have, I will just narrate uh, the uh, incident which I have. It is uh, Urmila's character is a mostly neglected character. So I will write, just read out in Telugu and then follow it. Urmila uh, Antaranga Taranga, I have mentioned it. Urmila Antapuran Lundi, Lakshmana Swami Chitarupu Rosu Raga Pujil Chastundi, Swami Darahasa Vadanam, Avan Mukhura Lichesedi, Erozu, Swami Mulana Vadananta Unar, Karana Yemo, Chitrapataniki Pakane, Pedapet the Chukalu, Pathrozulumanu, Palu Chintarata, Palava and Putu Pulanti, Guadam the Geta Kichavan, Atlana Yemo Goda Urmila, there was some son of Geta Kistanaka, Padamud Geta Gichin. Rosu lakabitinate, Erosu lakabitindi, Vokati, Rendu, Mudu, Padamudu, Padamudu Samatsara. Swami the Garga Pandendu, Doramai Padamudendu. Vokoka Yadadi, Oka Yuganga Kachipo in the Yadadiko, Pedachoka, Goda by Rastu Nim. Chibarichoka Padnal, Putti Jeto, Lakshmana Swami Katavio. So she was in a deep sleep. Makatanidra, Lakshmana Swami, Urmala Deva Nidra, ne. Ladies Patal Goda Partu Unta in the tradition of rural folk, also Urmula Dev Nidra is there. She waited there for 14 years. She was confined to her own room and she didn't move with all the other royal formalities. And here also I have mentioned it seems Urmula's mother wanted Janaka to go to Ayodhya and bring back her to Vidila. But as a Rajarshi, Janaka did not agree. He says, she has to suffer or enjoy whatever is the benefit of her uh, father-in-law's house. She, he, he did not want to, her to be a part of Midhila. She stayed back. Okay. Why did King Dasharadha have three wives? Does it not defy the culture what Rama does on Hindu culture? <laughs> In Treta Yuga, he doesn't, he doesn't have only three wives. So many other wives are also there. These are the three main uh, uh, Patamaheshis. So those Treta Yuga uh, wives are different because the values of uh, different Yugas are different. Even in uh, Dwapara Yuga also, Lord Krishna had uh, Ashtamaheshis and then 16,000 wives. All these uh, things are there. Oh, and uh, Ekapatani Varta for Ramachandra is a very, very peculiar characterization. Even during those days of uh, the kings having several wives, he followed the rule of a single person. That is why he is known as Ekapatani Varta. And yesterday, as somebody has said, Sita also is a Pati Varta. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is the character Shambhuka appearing in Uttarakhanda? An interpolation, interpolation to create a rift among Sanathanis. Yeah, this is a, this is in fact Uttarakhanda Chambuka Vada is there, uh, like Bali Vada and uh, other stories also, like uh, abandoning Sita. The Rama is criticized in a very vehement manner about Chambuka Vada because he was doing penance and he was a non Brahmin. That is why Rama killed him. This is the story which we have to accept. It is there in Uttarakhanda. And uh, most of the people, even last week also, Varikapati Narasimha was telling that Uttarakhanda is not the creation of Valmiki. 
and it is not there. It is an interpolation by several other scholars at a later date. So they doesn't believe that there is a Uttarakhanda itself. So finally, Uttarakhanda, the story is prevalent. It's there in Uttarakhanda? Yeah, yeah. It is there. Shambhu Kapada is there. Okay. So next question is, why Kaikeyi asked for 14 years of exile for Rama? Yeah, and even now, according to the inheritance laws, if a person is not there for 12 years or 14 years, he is not eligible to claim his property rights. That is why Kaikeyi was very particular uh, in asking for the 14 years. And then the other question comes, why she wanted him to go for the exile? He should, he should have been there in some other country, uh, but she wanted him to be very far off so that Bharata is not at all uh, disturbed in the royal patronage. Rama also exhibited Desh Bhakti when Lakshmana asked Look, uh, uh, looking at Lanka. Yeah. Uh, okay. And the letter says Lakshmana is very popular. Uh, mm. He, the Desha Bhakti is very much prevalent in Rama. When uh, he was uh, asked to have the kingdom of Lanka also, he says, I don't, I want to go back because my mother land is more important to me. Motherland is more important. Uh, he, he said in a very uh, fulfilling manner. Was Urmala Nidra for the good years uh, any uh, Shapamu or Varamu was there on her? Uh, the, in fact, this uh, interpolation is uh, she never slept for 14 years. She was almost in a confined house. She was in a house or a room and she never interacted with other people. And uh, she was in almost in an exile, like Lakshmana going to the forest. She didn't move with the <clears throat> royal uh, patronage. That is the only thing. And uh, she never slept for 14 years. And there is no ban or boon on the part of uh, Urmila. She decided to have her own confinement and she stayed back singularly. Now the questions on the chat box are over. Babu Garu, you can take over. Thank you, Challa Chitti Babu Garu. Uh, now we will start with the interaction with the student. Chiranjeevi Rapolu, can you unmute yourself and then speak? Yeah, sir. Uh, this is what I heard uh, from uh, Iskan uh, devotees. What they said is uh, Krishna is a uh, complete avatar, whereas Rama is not a complete avatar, it's only one uh, amsha. Is that true and uh, why is it so? Yeah, it is, it is believed and it is said also that Krishna avatar is a wholesome incarnation, whereas Rama is uh, uh, not that much. That doesn't mean that Rama is uh, less than and uh, Krishna is more. The importance uh, comes according to the stories. When we go by Lord Krishna's, he has uh, narrated Bhagavad Gita and he said, I am the person who is responsible for all the protection of the Dharma and all these things. And But Rama never told that I am the incarnation or, or I will be a person <coughs> protecting everybody. That is why... <coughs> The Krishna Uttara is told as the full incarnation. Sharan, you are. Yeah, actually, somebody Thanks. was asking how to get the book which you have written. Sir, Navodaya, it is available in Kachikuda Navodaya, sir. Kachikuda Navodaya. Antaranga Taranga. Antaranga Taranga. Uh, if you want, I can give his number also, Navodaya telephone number. Uh, I, I think it is the book is available. Is there any English version of this book also? No, sir. No, no. 
సార్ ది టెలిఫోన్ నంబర్ ఆఫ్ నవోదయ ఈస్ నైన్ టూ ఫోర్ సెవెన్ ఫోర్ సెవెన్ వన్ త్రీ సిక్స్ టూ నైన్ టూ ఫోర్ సెవెన్ ఫోర్ సెవెన్ వన్ త్రీ సిక్స్ టూ ఇట్ వాస్ పబ్లిష్ ఇన్ టూ థౌజండ్ ఫోర్టీన్ అండ్ ద ప్రైజ్ ఈస్ వన్ ఎయిటీ రూపీస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అబౌట్ టూ హండ్రెడ్ పేజెస్ ఎస్ సార్ anybody else uh, who wants to interact with the guru ji anybody else else we will go for uh, examination of uh, panchangam i think somebody was trying to talk you know when i was saying something on lady nobody okay uh thank you sir dhanyawadam thank you sir thank you and i request all uh, students who are all unmuted uh, to uh, thank and express gratitude to the guru ji chala chakka mahodaya very nice chala chakka ga chepparu dhanyawadalu andi there was the last question in the chat box i think yesterday also you answered this did ever rama show his vishwarupa just like krishna no no sir never never he showed his vinay he showed his vinay roopa vinay roopa <laughs> yeah. not vishwarupa thanks sir you are you are doing a very good uh, description of ramayana in a different uh, uh, narrative or uh, approach which normally people cannot get it uh, since you have read uh, the valmiki ramayana twice or maybe many more times and they are uh, command on that so thanks for clearing all the inhibitions doubts that have uh, people have in mind regarding the uh, happenings in valmiki ramayana thank you very much sir namaste mahode is there any book of yours in english on ramayana Uh, no madam no 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 i have not written uh, i i wrote telugu books and in fact i translated uh, women in valmiki for pandurangar out to telugu ramayana lo sri patra that book also is not available women in valmiki it was published about uh, 50 years back oh, okay okay ma okay danyavadam namaskaram sir namaskaram thank you very much so i ho- hope to see you again in the next batch that we have uh, thank you sir thank you thank so you we are going to have advanced batch and also fourth batch of this definitely sir definitely thank you thank sir you. okay and uh, now we will uh, we will stop recording for uh, a few minutes yes we finish the examination pause it. okay now let us recite national anthem janaganamana adhinayak jaya he bharat bhagya vidhata punjab sindhu gujarat maratha dravida ut కళబంగా విందియ హిమాచల యమునా గంగా ఉచ్చల జలధితరంగా తవ శుభ నామే జాగే తవ శుభ ఆశిష్ మాంగే గాహే తవ జయ గాత జనగణ మంగళదాయక జయ హే భారత భాగ్య విధాత జయ హే జయ హే జయ హే జయ 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 హే జయ ధన్యవాదములండి చాలా చాలా